Hello, this is a guide on how to easily get weapon repair kits. There's the regular way, uh, the regular way, which requires duct tape, scrap electronic scrap metal, winter glue, and wrenches. Um, yeah, I keep putting my muscles. There's some sort of like glitch where that noise kept popping up. I'm sorry about that. Um, or I'm not even sure if you can hear it, but anyway. So there's that way, but the way that you should be getting them is with the Dead Money DLC because with that money it's a lot easier to get weapon repair kits because they come as a reward I'm showing there the Sierra Madre slugs which if you watch my ultimate guide to dead money which is a very super concisive guide then it will show you how to get that perk but basically I, you need it yeah, it's technically a perk but basically it's like uh, Christina gives you the recipe for that although there's not a lot of fusion batteries within dead money itself but there are a lot of fusion batteries out in the wasteland and basically and basically you know there's chips and you can exchange them for items that you can get from the vending machines within dead money and one of the things you can get is weapon repair kits very conveniently and what's awesome about it is that they're, they're only worth like 20 chips so like it takes 20 chips to buy one so it's really worthwhile to go for fusion not only like the things to make weapon repair kits themselves but also to get the fusion batteries because it's, you get 50 chips from them and I'm also you also want to buy packs of cigarettes and um, well not packs of cigarettes but more likely carton of cigarettes because you can exchange them for chips as well but anyway like uh, like I was just saying uh, by using Siadra Maje slugs, you can use it so that way you can get um, like 50 of them, and then you can exchange all that for two weapon repair kits. So, so now it's, I got 750 from that, and that means I can get like, oh yeah, shit, that one's like 35 weapon repair kits. I'm not doing the math, but basically that's it. So, yeah, the, those ingredients right there that I showed you and all that. And I have trouble finding where the place is because I'm too far south and I asked, <laughs> God damn it. Anyway, one thing also to note is that I'm on PC. That's why you can see the FPS counter. I know I don't have the best FPS counter, but uh, they get the best FPS in the, you know, that I should be getting because New Vegas is a relatively easy game to run. But my, it's a, my game. Uh, I'm running this on a laptop, so. I should update my PC. Everything's coming out. The AMD release 7 series, NVIDIA release 6 series, Ivy Bridge from Intel is along the way. Everyone's releasing their stuff right now, at the beginning of the year. But that's besides the point. Uh, just goes on about. God damn, this is a long loony stream. Holy shit. So yeah, there's that. Um, unfortunately, the game decides that. The, well, there's only like one. Uh, vending machine and that's in the bunker so you always have to come back here kinda sucks but doesn't matter too much also there's also the fact that y when you exit if you do gambling uh, if you do the gambling thing and get 10,000 chips f uh, from the Sierra uh, Madre Casino then when you leave I'm trying to remember because I'm, win I'm winning this is like post things so yeah and I'm just showing you the things you can get these are all the items you can get I think I may be missing one or two things but so there's the weapon repair it's 20 chips and um, yeah so I have 960 chips so I can get all those weapon repair kits but I already have a ton of them because I and this is why you want to return uh, cartons of cigarettes and cigarette packs because if you return a card and then you get 20 chips that means like you get a weapon repair kit and if you're wondering why ooh, I should be getting weapon repair kits it's just because what happened uh, like I said earlier what happens is you can use them to repair weapons and they're, they're dirt cheap the weapon repair kits are dirt cheap compared to other weapons and then you can sell them back to the merchant and make tons of money and I will show you it later in the thing I will show you that's why there's so many that's why this video is so long so you can see I can get 82 weapon repair kits like I said I already have a couple but I mostly need stim packs which is also awesome. Like Dead Money, just is amazing. the end game content you get from Dead Money is crazy because it's like overpowered as crap. Because as uh, you show you, when you gamble and get ten thousand chips from um, the Siadra Madre Casino, then you get a voucher and the, which will give you, which you can return to get a thousand chips. If you didn't do that, it doesn't matter as much. Well, you 
it does matter because that's a thousand chips. But I mean, you do get a th uh, you do get 100 chips anyway every three days, and this is every three days. I'm trying to. What am I doing? Yeah, this is just this is all the stuff that it came out with from the casino. That whatever, just just ignore this part. I'm just being dumb. Come on, get to the thing. Uh, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Anyway, and there's that little deposit bo box every day. You will get, you will always get a hundred chips regardless of whether or not you went to the casino and got the ten thousand chips. But otherwise, you will not get that complimentary voucher. So essentially, you get eleven hundred chips every day, which you can use to get a ton of weapon repair kits, sixty-four, fifty-six repair kits. So that's pretty good. But in my case, like I said, I'm. I'm and yes, that's modded armor. It's just, I'm on PC. I got modded stuff. So, so now I'm gonna go and show you where you can use get easy caps. So, and what am I doing? Huh? Damn it! Oh no! Oh, I'm showing off the power. So you, we can see the value is forty uh, forty five hundred. I don't know. Moving so slowly, and then when I use a weapon repair kit, what happens is if I can almost find, there's also an inventory organizer, so I don't have to run around the whole thing. All of a sudden, ooh, 5,700 caps. So all of a sudden, I just got like a 1k worth of caps in by just using weapon repair kits, and that's how you make money. And plus, super sledgehammers are very easy to find. Um, there's two ways of Unfortunately, regular enemies do not really have that much in the way of awesome weapons. I think that's just a general flaw in Vegas. This is the fact that there's a very serious lack of enemies that have it's like a very serious lack of diverse enemies with diverse weapons. Unless you go into the DLC in the vanilla DLC anyway, in the vanilla in the Mojave wasteland anyway. Unless you get the NCR or Legion hit squads to come after you because they carry good weapons. I know that. So you can either do wait for them, and then you can weapon repair kit their stuff up. Or the the only place that has really high end weapons is the Black Mountain with the super units. Now you're gonna see as soon as this goddamn bones, god damn, they, they all take forever for some reason, or at least probably just because I'm using X Files from recording. Uh, you can see one dead one there. For some reason they're friendly. I think it's just because of the qu there's a quest up here that you can do, and if you do it in a certain way, then they all become friendly. So. In this particular case, you can see all of them, and all those weapons they're carrying are all worth over um, uh, 5k. So, yeah, sneak attack on that. This is not how you kill them, it just matters that heavy incinerator, that the heavy incinerator is worth like 6k. So, you know, the amount of money that you get. Here, I'll show you in a second. I have one that's nearly fully repaired, it's worth over 6k. And then if I do this and use three, with the amount of repairs, oh, and then it goes all the way over to 7K. So it is worthwhile for me to get go for the repair of the old incinerator too. And I'm gonna use it for a second just to see whether or not it's really worth keeping or not. Because I remember in the old in Fallout 3, it was awesome to use, but in this game, it's not, as you can see. Although maybe just because everyone has. Um, Damage threshold, so like the damage system in New Vegas, and then I just reload. But the damage system in New Vegas is not is not the same. So things that so yeah. So now I'm just gonna sneak attack these people. Having and like I said, this is just the way how I made money. Oh, but there's also the fact that merchants do not sell you at the same at a one one rate. But well, if you watch if you watch my playthrough of New Vegas, but which you probably won't because that's like 60 parts long and I forget which part it was where I specifically demonstrated this, but essentially there's uh, there's three different factions, the Brotherhood of Steel, the Great Cons, and the Followers of the Apocalypse. What happens is you do their quest and befriend them and they will open up their merchants to you and if you're idolized by them or at least highly liked, then you can trade with their merchants at a 1-1 one -one rate which is crazy because you don't even need a hundred barter or a high charisma to do it. it I remember when in my playthrough I only had 40 barter and um, uh, when I finished the followers quest when, when I became idolized finally they started trading with me with a 1-1 rate and that's how I got 
you know, a lot of cats early in the game because I was able to sell all my high-end weapons to them. So in this particular case, sorry for the loans, you can call so fucking long. In my particular case, uh, because I have so many weapon repair kits, and there's also one person who sells a lot of, yeah, the Brotherhood of Steel and the Great Cons have really good items for, like, ripping them off, because what happens is, so you can sell your own equipment off of them at a 1-1 rate, so you, I can trade off my heavy incinerator for 7k, no problem, and then I can buy their items, and I'll show you in a second. Oh, and there's also one thing to note. If you're having trouble finding them in the Mojave Wasteland, or if, like, you don't have the Dead Money DLC, then there's a... I don't show it in this video, but apparently there's a merchant for the boomers who sells off weapon repair kits, and that's the... It's in one of the hangars. It's, like, the... The person's called Boomer's Munish, Ammunitions Chief or something like that. Trade with them, and every three days he'll have, like... The one you know, one to three weapon repair kits. So if you're having trouble getting them or you don't have dead money, then you can go there for a few of them. Otherwise, there are a, few, a couple of other merchants that have them, but they don't sell them in great quantities. So, and in my case, you'll see in a second. I get really excited because I see the fat man because I know that's worth a ton of money. So I go and pick that up, and I can basically pick up whatever I want. Because what's going to happen is. As you can see, or well, I'm not sure if I even have to commentate this, I'm pretty sure everything's self-explanatory. And unfortunately, I'm going to run into a quandrum where I'm just like, Oh no, she doesn't have enough caps? Oh, I don't want to waste my, my caps, even though it doesn't matter. Uh, stupid, stupid. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. Or at least I, I don't... You know, I guess it doesn't really look like a 1-1 one -one rate, and... But you nearly get your cat's worth, and what happens is she's out of cap now, and all the video ended. Yeah, so basically you just take the weapon repair, repair kits, uh, patch them up, and then you can sell them back. Although one thing to note is that it's better to have them with merchants with one one rate because I remember one time buying a power fist when it was a low price, and I'm just like, oh, it's amazing. I didn't realize about the inflation from the bartering thing, so I ended up not making as much money as I thought I was going to. So, yeah, that's a small guy on weapon repair kits. So.